I appreciate you being able to at least show your love and support, Opal. Thank you. I love you too. Mwah. Almost forgot to make the scene. Or the source. Kanji, probably my favorite character in the entire game. And then there's Teddy. intro to this game. Such a good intro. Uh, as you can see from, like, my past playthrough, uh, I got to day 28 in June, which got me to level 35. Also, I played about 45 hours of this game. Um, we're just gonna say fuck that. And we're gonna ha and we're just gonna restart, obviously, because why why not start from the beginning? Let people know what is actually in this game. So yeah, we're gonna start a new game. You can connect to the internet to access new functions in Persona 4 Golden. Would you like to know more? No, I don't care. Uh. Here's a question for you all. What difficulty are we going to be playing on? Because... I know for a fact I'm not going to do very hard. But I'm also not going to do very easy either. I'm not- I'm- I'm good enough at this game to where I can at least fight things decently on normal. But... Yeah, I was gonna say, it's kind of on the kind of border of either normal or hard. Because normal, I would say, is a good base point, and then hard is kind of a good bump up. Very hard is just goddamn. So what do so what are you guys thinking? Normal or hard? And also, if you guys want to try and poke some people, get them to get into the stream, I would totally be okay with that. Get the attention of people. I know Gwen doesn't care, so... I don't care either. I'm thinking... For me, it's kind of a matter of, do I want... Yeah, Gwen is Gwen. Um, for me, it's kind of a matter of, do I want... Do we want to focus on the story or more on the combat? Is kind of how I'm seeing it. Hmm. You know what? I think, I think for stream's sake... Because I know I have failed on numerous occasions and have had to reload before. 
yeah. I think I'm gonna go for normal, just... I think I'm gonna go normal just... So people can at least enjoy the story as well. So let's go with normal. And yeah, I can change it in the in the system settings. So let's go normal, guys. Well, relax and have fun with the game. It seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself?
I see. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? <laughs> Do you believe in fortune telling? This is the thing. Uh, this game is highly, highly about the fortune telling in tarot cards. Also, if you guys want to bring people in that you know, uh, maybe even from different stream, maybe from different discords if they seem interested, or even from our own. Have at it. I don't care. More people, the merrier. Let them have fun. But yeah, this game is very much about the fortune tellings. I decided to go with the more, like, hard on. This is a Japanese game by going with the Sakegura uh, last name and then deciding to go Hiro as the intro says that his name, that his character name is Hiro, quote unquote. So I decided to go with that. Uh, for anyone in chat as well, uh, how's the audio, uh, for the music? Do I need to turn it down at all, or? volume seem good on both my part and the game's part. Alright, that's good. Don't want the music to be too loud, which is why. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Uh-oh. That can't be good. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Ah, well then. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year Lovely is a indeed. turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. Oh, well then, that's just great. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Oh, well then, I guess I'm, I guess I'm good on that part then. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Also, you neglected to read my last card, because generally fortune tellings, fortune tellings with tarot cards generally produce with three cards. The future will generally, what will happen, past, present, or future, what will happen, or what has happened, and then what you're gonna, or a generalization of what you're gonna do about it. So why didn't he tell me my, what I'm gonna do about it? This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. But wait, I have so much questions that I need to all. Oh. oh, what a wonderful way to start the stream, huh? 
this is exactly how you want to start a stream. Well then. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some well juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is <laughs> At first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? <laughs> Look at us, the hot piece of meat we are. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Damn, everyone guys. Up. I'm not done yet. We're the cool kid. Sweet. I've never been the cool kid. Finally, a change of pace around here. Looking at my phone. We will arrive at the Yasukami terminal. Don't know what that says minutes. because it's in Japanese. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Miss should we go soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Oh. Well, then. Don't get, don't get sleepy on me. Yaso Inaba. Yaso Inaba. Well, everybody, we're in Inaba. It's the 4th of April. It's Monday on an afternoon. Hey, over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Stop it. You stop it, you. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Okay, Dojima. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Oh, so you're my uncle. Uh... It's been a long time. I'll say. You've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. Okay, now you're going way too far. Don't bring up my backstory. This here's my daughter. Okay, so she's my cousin. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, already a great game to start out with. <laughs> Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. All right, let's go. Hey. You dropped this. Oh. Uh, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. It's the note you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. On my way. You got in the car and headed for Dojima's house.
What a lovely town. Inaba, Central Shopping District and Gas Station. Hi, welcome to Mall. Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. You've been smoking the entire way here. Are you in high school? Uh... Uh, yes. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? Yeah, a bit. There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Amiko is looking at you. Oh, headache. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Could it be could it be exhaustion from the long trip? Now that she mentions it, you do feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Just felt lightheaded. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. A little bit. Halfway around the country. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just... I didn't mean to skip that. I'll wait here. Why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? The shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Oh. How did she get here? You... Wasn't she going towards the train station before? How did she get here now? How is she here now? Um, have we met before? I met you just now. Just now. Mm, okay. The girl is thinking to herself. Well, like the game said, the blue butterfly to save our progress. And there's only 16 slots, and I think I'll take the 16th slot. Oh, we can go back. Here, there's a poster. The following books are being released on the 4th of, uh, the 20th of April. The Lovely Man, 1200 yen. The Famous Man series, now in stock. Expert study methods, 28,000, 2,800 yen. Get to the edge of your class, get an edge over your classmates. And beginner fishing, 1,600 yen. Now you can be a fisher too. That's what it says. So this is the Yomanato bookstore. It's fairly empty inside. Hmm, you have something to do in the shopping district? It's a bit run down, but we have everything here. Yeah, I know. The... I know. I'm bad at reading month, day, year, even though it's just like April 2nd or April 11th. The 11th of April. I don't know. Stop barking me. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we only see regulars nowadays. If only Juness hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. A little bit. Didara Metalworks. 
a fierce looking man is single mindedly pounding on something in the back of a store. You decide not to enter. We got a mailbox. The moon. The Maru Q tofu shop. An old woman. An old woman is tending the store. Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save it for later. Oh, really sorry about that. Well, I'm going to work. See ya. What? You I was really looking forward to eating it. They seem to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Here we got the capsule machine, Shiroku store, and a vending machine here. Hmm, I like this shop. It's very nice. It's convenient and convenient. It's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. There's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. I mean, let's check out the capsule machine. Why not? There's a line of capsule vending machines. But the dials are rusted in place. You cannot run them. The store? A variety of products lines the shelves. A friendly looking late old lady sits behind the counter. A variety of products lines the shelves. Uh, vending machine. It's a beverage vending machine. However, all the drinks are sold out. There's nothing for you to buy. English is hollered, and welcome, Alta. Uh, what was that? I saw something. Oh, it's probably him. Dojima is waiting for you. You shouldn't wander too far off. Well, I guess we should go all the way back here. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road then. During events, Pressing press backlog button to see the log and skip event button to skip event entirely. Good thing this game good thing this game often has voice lines to talk for you, so I don't have to talk through most of it. And I can leave the English speaking to the people in the game. You arrive at Dojima Residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. And that's the thing, this game spans an entire year. All right, let's have a toast. Don't know what the toast was, but apparently we had a toast. So your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Yeah, in I know America. it's only for a year, but Getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. A little bit. I never see my parents. They might as well be dead and I'm Batman. Well, it's just me and Nanako here. So it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Hmm. Thank you for your time. Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, uh oh. Who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm hmm. Yeah, I see. So, where is it? All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Aw, poor Nanako. She seems sad. And Dojima doesn't seem too happy about it either. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right. Well, I'm off. 
Oh yeah, Nanako seems to be the one who has to do the laundry, the cleaning, and all that stuff because Dojima is always having to go out and For this week. Next, do work. let's take a look at the hourly it's breakdown sad. of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. You find yourself alone with Nanako. You might want to strike up a conversation. Hmm. What does your dad do, or it must be tough? I'll let you guys decide. Does your dad do? Alright. He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. Oh, so he's a police officer. My dad's a detective. Or, you know, a detective. You know, that was my, uh, second guess. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary... Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. I bet me having to listen to that all day. Every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Junex. Every day is great at your Junex. Well, she seems to enjoy the song. Aren't you going to eat? Uh, yeah, sorry. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Well, we look like looks like we're able to freely roam around at least the first floor of our house. Oh, um, Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. A quiz show is on TV. Cool. Check the kitchen because it's isn't very used very often the kitchen is organized if the if there are ingredients in the refrigerator you might be able to make lunch you open the fridge there is some fried rice eat it mm, no you left it alone well i mean i guess we could save i mean there's no reason we need to save quite yet, but might as well. And it looks like our room is upstairs. This is the room you're borrowing from Dojima. That looks pretty, you know, empty for the most part. You're tired from the long trip. You should rest. Well, it looks like we at least get a TV, so I mean, that's pretty nice. Looks like we have a, you know, like a sleep roll bed here. As well as a work desk. So, a steady desk. That's actually pretty nice, too. But yeah, let's sleep on our futon. Go to sleep. Yes. You'll be living in this town for one year, starting today. You wonder if everything will be alright. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. Uh, this doesn't look like my room. This seems a lot spookier.
just gonna be throwing another thing in the chat real quick. Just to give people a shout out. This is the area, the area is covered in a thick fog. What does dad do? He is a detective. All you can do right now is proceed forward. I guess we're gonna proceed forward then. Screw it. Walking is too slow. And yes, I am able to look 360 degrees, though I probably won't as... Do you seek the truth? You heard someone's voice. If it's the truth you desire, come and find me. You hear the voice from up ahead. It's the big wall. You sense someone ahead. Will you continue? Where did I get this katana? So, you are the one pursuing me. Hmm. Try all you like. And this is the first instance of a battle scene. As you can see, we have analysis, tactics, guard, attack, skill, persona, item, and escape. Analysis will let you is a move so that you can scan your enemies, see what their weaknesses are, their max health, and their damage. Tactics. You can give instructions to your allies of whether or not if you want an auto battle for you to control your allies or for them to be offensive, defensive, or a balance between the two. Guard. You take no damage. Well, guard. You take less damage than you would have. Attack, you would deal damage. Skill, uh, looks like for me at the moment, I deal electric type damage, a physical damage, as well as a healing. Oh no, it's a defense for three turns. Increases one ally's defense for three turns, deals light physical damage to one foe, and deals light electric damage to one foe. Persona. We don't know what that is yet. Item, check your inventory and use items, as any other RPG game would do, and escape, search for an escape route. But I think we're just gonna normal attack this character. It seems you can see little, uh, see a little, despite the fog. Screw it, let's use a cleave. <laughs> What was that? I see. Indeed. That is a very interesting inform- This is very interesting information. What was that shadow thing that just appeared? But you will not catch me so easily. If you want- if what you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. <laughs> the surroundings covered in fog. <laughs> Everyone sees what they want to, and the fog only deepens. Will we meet again? At a place other than here. Hmm. I look forward 
to it. You are losing consciousness. You can hear someone's voice. Breakfast ready! It's almost time to get up. You feel like you had a nightmare. What could it have been about? You're starting school today. You should head to the living room for now. Good morning. Wow. We made okay. this? She made dinner? Well, breakfast? Let's eat. You do the cooking? I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Wow. That's actually pretty impressive for a little girl in elementary school. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. Oh. Either way, that's still pretty impressive for a little girl in elementary school to be cooking eggs. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. Alright. Nanako seems somewhat restless. You decide to head to school with Nanako. I know, right? It's sad. School zone. Samagawa Floodplain. That's all good. You keep going straight from here. My school's this way. Bye! Well, it was kind of her to show me the way to school. That was kind of her. To go a little out of her way. School zone intersection in front of the school. That looked painful. You should leave him be. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna ignore what just happened there. You arrived at the main gates of y Yosagami High School. What kind of student life awaits you here? I know, what the fuck? We just left that guy in pain. We're just like, yeah, fuck him. <sighs> I, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him, I don't care. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Morooka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What's with him? Who knows? A lot of things are up with him. All right, shut your traps. Oh. So that's King Moron. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Well then. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. I agree with you, Rody. He does give me like a gorilla's, a gorilla's vibe, doesn't he? Uh, but he just called me, uh, yesterday's garbage. No, yeah, Blurred. He, he also just called me yesterday's garbage. 
So I'm a little offended. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Well then, now you're just a... Now you're just an asshole, aren't you? Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You calling me a loser? My courage has increased. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Fuck yeah. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. <laughs> oh, this is already great. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. I don't know why you think I would abuse them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. My places, huh? Well, we got some, uh... Some uh, off-brand product placement right there. Mr. Maruka goes on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. Well, I guess I sit over here. With the obvious, uh... He's the worst, huh? Yeah, a little bit. I guess I get to sit over here with the colored characters, which prove that they're not side NPCs and are actually secondary characters. Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. That's not easy. You can hear people around you talking about you. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. I'd like to see him try and suspend me. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. Your life at this school has begun. Will you be able to fit in here? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. I like her character trait is brown hair. And she is Tell the brown happy. haired girl. Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh huh, yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Uh, hey, hey Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Uh, tried what, short-haired girl? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Um... Is this appropriate? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Hmm. 
Aw, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamino, the announcer. Attention, all students. So a guy did it, and my soulmate's the announcer. My soulmate's the announcer. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly exactly. leave the school grounds. Exactly, Blurred. Exactly. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What? Something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Okay, now I love that even more. Brown haired girl and her friend, girl's friend. It's girl's friend and brown haired girl. <laughs> Great descriptors. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Damn. First day, already having the girls escort me home. <laughs> oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Wait, you sit next to me? I didn't know that. You do? <laughs> you do? Dude, I was sitting right next to you. I even talked to you. Anyways. I am an asshole. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's... That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. Uh, did he give her... Did she give her him porn? And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Uh oh, uh, uh, not again. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, my trial of the dragon. I know. Yosuke cannot get a break. Also, Chie is probably, to me, one of the more annoyingly voiced characters. Like, her whining voice, oh, it's so ear-breaking. No, it's just like, she, her... Her... Her voice is just so annoying sometimes. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. <laughs> uh, are you all right? <laughs> oh, Yukiko-san. Are, are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. <laughs> he looks he looks like he's in a lot of pain. You should leave him be! <laughs> he looks like he's in pain. Let's leave him! Oh my god, that is hilarious. Oh my god. Oh, nice. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Uh. Who's this creep? <laughs> oh, she's been yeah, exactly. Oh, kicked in the nuts. Well, bye. I got to go, you know. Just <laughs> not deal with you being kicked in the nuts. <laughs> what? Who who are you? Yeah, same here. Who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. No bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? 
the Omagi challenge. Uh, so uh, are you coming or not? Okay, this kid is fucking terrifying. I I'm not going. Fine. God damn. What a child. What did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? No, no, I'm with you, Kiko. That sounded a lot... Yeah. They're footballs and it's terrifying, but I'm I'm with you, Kiko, here. Here, are you sure he was asking her on a date or secretly going to murder her out in somewhere like the woods? Because I think that one is more... That one is more accurate. You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Exactly. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Well, looks like he's rebound from that nut kicking. Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. Ooh. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. <laughs> the nut yeah, basically. That's just what I'm going to call you, Chie, for now on. The nutcracker. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Yeah, I guess we should go. No, yeah. All I know, from what I can remember, it's going to be probably a oh. pretty chill couple streams. So you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Up. First off, uh, Blurred, I am not the emo kid. And second off, Chie, why are you asking me such questions? I'm not going to be an asshole and say it's hard to say or just say nothing. The only correct answer is I think so, yeah. Because this is being an asshole. This one's just being inconsiderate and not answering and also makes me look like an asshole. So I only have this one. Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? She is just kind of an asshole to Yukiko, isn't she? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? Uh -oh. So that high schooler left school early. And as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? From an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. It? Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. 
Wait. Was a dead body hanging from a satellite antenna? Well, fuck. How did they get it up Wait, there? What did she just say? A dead body? Oh, hey, look. It's Dojima. Hey, what are you doing here? We were just passing by. I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? Yeah, he's my uncle. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. Yes, sir. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Well then. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Yeah, I know. The running animation is pretty Kiko, janky. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. From what I remember, nothing really happens until about the fourth day. So until the 14th, you decide to head away from the crime scene. That's what I remember. Uh, but from not from here, uh, we are actually able to look around the entire town starting on j day 12. So we can actually go back to the Yosagami High School, the Central Shopping District, Juness, and Samagawa floodplains. And then on the lot, and then we can head for Dojima residence. What would people like to go see first? Yeah, literally. I'm just, it's, I'm just like, I just don't care. <laughs> the main character just doesn't care about anyone. It's just like, so that happened. That, that just happened. Okay, what next? <laughs> so where would everybody like us to go first? The shopping district? All right, we'll go to the shopping district. Central shopping district. From what I remember, there's still not a lot uh, that we're able to do yet, so. Uh, copier, you're a student at Yosagami High, or Yosagami, you should have gotten in order to go home from school today, go on, go home. Uh, as we saw uh, from this, uh, the poster, we're not going to be getting any new books until uh, the 20th, so another eight days. Uh, still can't go in here. Uh, you have anything to say? There's a bit of a ruckus. There's a lot of police officers. What's going on? Huh? A crime? Really? Yay, an emergency! Now I don't have to go back to work! Well then. I uh, can't go into the sushi shop. I've been hearing sirens all day. I was getting such great sleep, but they woke me up. Yawn. Uh, can't go in there yet. Still can't do anything there. Can't buy any drinks. But we can check the other side of the shopping district we never got to at the beginning. Uh, here is a Chinese restaurant. You can smell the appetizing scent of food from here. Didn't they tell you at school to go home? You should have talked to them. Uh, okay, a bunch of appetizing dishes are out on display, but the owner is nowhere to be found. It's a little unbelievable to see so many policemen in this town. This is n this has never happened before. Let's go to the shrine. Oh, there seems to be a shrine here. It's a small shrine. There's a fortune box sitting there, but there's nothing inside. Main hall. This looks like a sh shrine's main building. You have no business here. Oh, well then. 
Well, then I guess we'll leave it. Go up here. Hatsumi Textiles. It's a textile shop. There's no reason for you to be here right now. Uh, we got a barber. The sign says, Nishino Barber. But the shutters are closed. There's a notice saying, this shop is closed. Looks like we got some more vending machines, but nothing. So, I guess we'll leave the shopping district. Alright, where do we want to go next? There's the Juness department store, which I don't think we can go to quite yet, and there's nothing there for us. Uh, but there is the Samagawa floodplain and the Yasogami High School. Yeah, the music is really great. I love this game for its music. Persona has always been known, to me at least, for having just really good music. Also, I want to show you guys something. Here's the Dojima residence. We have to go through the floodplain here, all the way to get over here on the other side of town. We have to walk to school. I'm not sure if there's anything to do on this day still, for like most of anything. I think we're just supposed to be going straight home. But I mean, let's go see what's at the high school quick. See if we can do anything at least. Hey yo, didn't you know there's an order to go home? What if you get caught in up in something bad? Go straight home, you hear? Well, then I guess we're not going to school. Uh, let's go to the floodplains then. Last place. Uh, there's that guy. This kid. I keep hearing the police sirens today. I'm not used to all this noise. It's really unsettling. There's some stairs. Oh. Isn't the river something? It's called the Samagawa, and it has tons of fish. It's a wonderful river. Beautiful river. Indeed. I keep seeing police cars zooming by today. Was there some kind of accident? Doesn't seem much to do down here. So I guess we'll go back up. We'll continue down until we see something. Bird. And that's kind of it. So, we did a little bit of exploring, but looks like it's time to go back to the Dojima residence. Oh, there's a scooter here. There's a scooter parked in front of the house. And two little ladies here. Uh, and it, and it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around the, to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days. I can't even relax when I go out shopping. And I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight, too. What now? Oh, that's not... Oh, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden, long as they have some unusual... some unused land to work with. You take that plot next to the Dojima's plate... next to the Dojima place, for example. That's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? If they start a home garden too, does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> ah. Sounds about right. There was an empty patch of dirt on the open space next to the house. Unfortunately, that looks about it. So, let's go inside. It will become evening when you return home. Return home? Yes. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Aw, oh, poor Nanako. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Oh. The school zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano. 
a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Oh. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Yeah, I guess that would be. Yeah, oh shit is right. The announcer's dead. The one in the... in the announcement of the politician having an affair. <sighs> It'll be all right. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. God damn. How did they get a body up there? Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. Yeah, I can assume that. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or <laughs> exactly. a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Thick fog, huh? It seems the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yosogami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with a local council councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. I know, right? <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Nanako is looking at you expectantly. Do you like that song? Yep, it's popular at school, too. Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. It seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Well, that's good. Every day's great at your Juness. Yeah, it seems like that, doesn't it? Uh, anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. Alright. Well, I guess we should save. Well, guess I'll go up to You're still tired from getting used to your new life. You should return to your room and rest. Yeah, let's rest. Day 13! S someone Maybe. Oh, now I care, huh? Now that I- Now I care because he's in a garbage can rolling around like a dumbass. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. Yeah, I know, right? I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? <laughs> I'm still gonna play it off as I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna keep playing it off like I don't give a shit. Just, is your bike okay? <laughs> Yosuke seems to be all right. I don't care about his gonads, I care about the bike. His bike is the problem. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yeah. You think it was some kind of warning? There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. I agree. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Yeah, pretty much. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. Uh. Ah. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? 
first of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy and such. Uh, and since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up you ro your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that's that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now, get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. I agree, Ulta. He did do it to himself. So, you also, getting used to this place? Also, might I say, the graphics of this game on PC? Wonderful! Especially for a game that came out in, like, what, 2010, 2011? Maybe older? The graphics are wonderful. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain... Something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean. The food's great. Oh, you know about the local yeah. delicacy? <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Alta? This teacher has no idea what a school is. It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like, that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? Uh-oh. You always come around when I'm talking about food. How bad it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us, too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today, anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? <laughs> it's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh, well. We should get going, too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Juna's Food Court. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, well... Once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. <laughs> I know, right? Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, he drank that like the top was open on that cup. You all saw that, right? It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Who's that? That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. I know, right? Chie, Chie is kind of that love-hate relationship. 
isn't it? She She's a good character. This game has wonderful character design and, like, personality to their characters, but goddamn is Chie hard to love sometimes. <sighs> Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? Uh-oh. Now we're brought into this. Are you the transfer student? Oh, <laughs> did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> should should I guys? Should should I answer him should I answer her with this one? Should should this be my answer? Yeah. <laughs> All right, break it up. You're kind of getting on my nerves. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, senpai? <laughs> Saki senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. Oh, so that's what she was talking to Yukiko about. And they say that person's your soulmate. <laughs> what? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Yeah, I know, right? Try it out. Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Yeah, I know. Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez, you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Oh my god, bitch, bitch, bitch. All I'm saying is, you guys <laughs> better try it out tonight. You heard the rumor of about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako. Hmm. I wonder what we should choose. Because it is kind of important. It is important because it depends on whether or not my affinity with her gets better or worse. 
it's like you always want the affinity to get better. You never want it to get worse. So... Should I ask her, did her father call, or don't worry? Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, he's home. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. It's a follow-up report about the incident from yesterday. When Ms. Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Mizu uh, Misuzu Hira Hiragi, an Enka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lover's quarrel? The police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, an interview with a kid? Uh, where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. The student's face and voice are indistinct. But you feel like you've seen her before somewhere. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh... So, did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki-senpai, Yasuke-senpai. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Also, I know I said her name wrong and put senpai at the end. Don't at me. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. I know at least something makes her happy. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? Uh-oh. No? He seems to be asleep. Jeez. Poor Nanako. 
Is he still asleep on the couch? Yes, he is. Tojima is sleeping. You should leave him alone. Well, I go... When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Nanako is still watching TV. Anything in the fridge. Nothing catches your eye. Time to go upstairs. The rain is falling. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. Should you check it out in your room? Watch TV in your room. You can hear it raining outside. I can see it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? Cool kid alert. Cool kid alert. <laughs> hey, you got to hear his voice. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. I am the one who knocks. I am the one who knocks. <laughs> Come on, kids, time to make some meth. TV monster. It's a mimic. Owie. Are you okay? I'm a, kind of. Did I wake you up? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. <laughs> No! No, not to Nanako, please. She's just a child. Nanako seems to have re returned to her room. What just happened? You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Day 14. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. Chie forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I didn't have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they... I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves, and I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the move. Oh, of course you did. By the way, did you see it? I did. Ah, do tell. But the person that should... But the person it showed. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Uh, um. Oh, uh. It's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run the rest of the way. Let's race! Huh? Huh? We're both gonna run through the rain? What's the point of that? Besides, it's not like I wanted to make a break for it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I worrying too much? Uh, I'll keep going with you anyway. Come on! Alright, let's go.
Ms. Sofu. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofu, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I am an exer. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items and things nothing quite like a romance. And there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope you I hope we can all enjoy the profound profundity of history together. Ho ho ho. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Sakegura, please stand up. The Western calendar is based on Anno, Dom Anno Domini, in tradition, the traditionally believed year of Jesus Christ's birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? It's actually 1 BC, I believe, because 1 AD came after BC. Mind you, this is what I think. I do not remember the question. I don't remember... I, it's like, I don't remember any of the questions. So if you guys want to, like, participate in that, kind, in that section of this, uh, you very much can. Because some of the questions, it's like they'll talk about it beforehand and then ask you the question like, hey, what was I just talking about? But then they'll give you ones like this where it's just like, oh, yeah, I need to know this just off of the top of my head. So, yeah, 1 BC. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, 0 AD would be the natural assumption. But world history is much more complicated. The Georgian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero of the zero as a number. That's why, when in counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully, this was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct you gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. As you can see, we have different stats based on knowledge, courage. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. And some other ones that I'd have to look at. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Yo. Yeah, uh. short girl and sitting girl. <laughs> Great characteristics. It's, a, uh, It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki-senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm... Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? You're gay! I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, she was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? Yeah, because that's totally how that works. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Yeah. You told them about what happened last night. 
It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. <laughs> if it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. About right. That's that's about the right assumption in 2011. Want to go check him out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You decided to go to June S with the others. Hey, Blurred, try getting the people in Discord to hop in. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. Yeah, exactly. We don't have clerks around. Yeah, now it's now it's smart TVs instead of uh just normal flat screens. Flat screens have kind of just become the norm. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... Hmm... With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside it. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of... New model? L like with a, a new function? I don't think that's how that works, Chie. Hell no! You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? I don't fucking know. Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put more than just your arm. Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean, inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? It seems very spacious in here. Wh what do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Yeah, now it's a smart TV. Shit, customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. 
Uh, not really half stuck. My head is the only thing inside of it. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but, uh, don't do that. Wait, whoa! Don't do that! <laughs> Ow. Oh. I heard a lot of cracking. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? Man, a guy who says I landed place? right on my wallet. Is there a place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh. What is going on here? I don't fucking know. Why are you looking at me? Uh... So... Uh... We're still alive. Right? You guys okay? Your understanding has increased. That's a third one uh, from the list. It's understanding, courage, intelligence, and one other, I think, is charisma? I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. It's always had a crack in it, Yosuke. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. It's like a TV set. Is right. this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Uh, let's go home. A good plan. Look, we need to get home and. Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, straight up, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know! Don't ask me! I can't take this anymore! I want to go home! Okay, so how? Let's calm down. Y you're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. Alright. So we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in. So we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. Indeed. I love the story, by the way. It's a pretty good story. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... It seems that there's no choice for, for now but to continue onward. Huh. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? A little bit. No service. What a surprise. Doesn't surprise me at all. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Uh... Huh? What the... Oh. It's a dead end! There's no exit! It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. God damn it, Yosuke.
Yeah, I know, right? And I want to ban you. One moment. Ah, oh, god damn it. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. And report. Uh, it's really all I can do for the moment, so. Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. It's as if, it's as, it's as if Chie doesn't know how the male, <laughs> the male expelling of fluids works. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. Mm, I agree. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Yeah, I agree. I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Uh-oh. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's this place's a oppressive atmosphere? Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. We, we all agree on that, at least. So we're back where we came from. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh, God! What could it be? Ah! What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? Whatever it is, it's fucking terrifying! What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? Oh. <gasps> it talked! W what are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. Aw. The bear is cowering in fear. Aw, poor bear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. Huh. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? 
Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit. Wait, what? Tap, tap. TVs. What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! All right, have a good rest of your day, huh? uh, Blurred. Is this? Did we make it back? Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Really? Oh. Hey, you're right. Yeah. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Man. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I wanna lie down and rest. I agree. That's probably what's best. So, it is now evening time. And we are back at the Dojima residence. Hey, welcome home. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Uh, she wasn't at school today. Oh, I see. Yeah, that too, because that's almost impossible. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Oh no. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. The Amagi Inn? Is that... Is the, it's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Okay, first off, creepy. Uh, I see. And the announcer knows Moving it too. Along, it's time for the weather report. <laughs> Even the announcer understands. Okay, you are creeping. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning. Heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, he was apparently staying at the Yamagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. 
and it seems they're the whereabouts of Saki of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <laughs> Achoo! You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? Thank you, Nanako. You should get to bed after you take it. Yeah, probably. It's probably like... NyQuil. Well, let's check the fridge quick. Nothing catches your eye. Oh well. Uh, you should go straight to bed tonight. Spring cold can be tough. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's fog today, so you should go to sleep early, or you'll catch a cold. Yeah, probably. I don't know how that commenter still has a job, but I agree, that commenter is kinda creepin'. And that's not a good thing. I can probably go one more day. You feel sluggish. You should rest early today. I can do one more day. We'll stop at we'll stop at the next save point. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. That's really not a good sign. That's a bad. A very bad. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dojima left the house. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Nanako looks worried. Uh-oh. Well, we can probably guess what that call was about, so... You hear- you can hear girls, uh, gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that! How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear sirens nearby. It seems there's been another incident. You decide to head to school. It is now afternoon. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. First, I let the Egyptian lady talk first. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Senpai's here? Uh oh, that's not a good... Alright, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the, principal, the principal's address continues. She died 
died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Aw. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again. And I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. And then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? You might be right, Yosuke. That's actually pretty convincing. So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yasuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Go with Yasuke. Obviously. Are you serious? Let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Would you like to save your progress thus far? Yes. There is a reason why you want to take that save. That's because this is a point of no return. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot! Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? 
If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Uh, I'm worried about Chie. There's no telling what may happen over there. You voice your concern over Chie coming along. Your understanding has increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here, this is for you. You obtain salt club and three medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. the same place as last time so they are connected from place to place that's good you guys why'd you come back i get it you're the ones behind this you're that thing from last time wait what the hell did you just say lately i can tell someone's been throwing people in here it's making this world more and more messed up this is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. Which I mean, this mysterious bear has a point. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. That's where you're wrong, though. Don't label us like that. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die! Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here... Does he mean... Senpai and the announcer? Did that... Someone throw those two in here? Hey... What do you think? That must be it. Yeah... I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be... That someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life... Li what? Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Proof? See? So it is you guys. For the last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey. You better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? 
I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. The shadows? Ah, I get it. Huh? Well, if you get it, then explain it to us, damn it. If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying you might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. Always been like this? What do you mean? Run by that? Run that by me again? What do you mean? Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are. Or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Don't, don't, don't. Whoa. Uh... What the hell are you? It's empty inside. Uh-oh. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... Or else I'm what? I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Okay, that seems like a pretty good reason to, to, to promise. Don't you think? You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> oh god, we got a crying bear now. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the other on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. <sighs> hey, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of that of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? I promise. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Gun? What gun? Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Me not know no gun word. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Hiro Sakigura. You got a name? Teddy! Heh, <laughs> figures. Teddy! But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Well, I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. 
Ta-da! We get glasses! What are these glasses for? Come on, put them on, put them on! You put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh, no way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Yeah, that should help us. Thank you, Teddy. How's that sound? Sounds great. Can Teddy really not fight? Should I touch, push, or hit Teddy? Should I should I do nice or should I go should I go from should I go nice, somewhat mean, or just plain jerk? I think I should just touch him. I guess I'll just, you know, try touching Teddy. No! <laughs> Is this thing for real? Poor Teddy. This is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wait! Teddy, 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 Teddy. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> And they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. The liquor store. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Uh-oh. Shadows. They first appear as like a book of dreams. And then they become their true form. I am thou. Thou art I. The time has come. Open thine eyes and call forth what is within. Art.
Well, it looks like we got a fighter on our hands, boys and girls. Stay calm and listen. Some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it will be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you can knock all enemies down, you'll get a one more attack. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get one more attack to get the advantage in battle. However, if the enemies attack your weaknesses, they get extra attacks too. So always keep your enemies' weaknesses and your own in mind. These are slipping of your These are slipping hablery. They are weak against electric. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Zeo on them. He's a Nagi! I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. When you check on when you check known information about the enemy with the analysis command or by pressing the analyze button. And we get another attack because they're down we down someone. So we get another one more. And by doing that, we are going to use a basic attack and take him out. He gets back up. He attacks us for 8 damage, but we get one more attack on him. And thus, we win battle. And we get some experience, no money, but we also get some soul drops. You felt a surge of energy inside after that recent battle. Congratulations, Sensei! We level up. Your HP and SP have increased. And you are now able to create personas up to level 2. Izanagi. Hiro Sakigura has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? I don't know, maybe. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Yes. And that's what I thought. This is really something. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Aw, poor Teddy. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Here's some voices. Voices begin to echo from someone. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So... Does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Let's go inside. Damn it, 
Not again. You begin to hear a man, a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki Konishi smiling. Yosuke is standing next to her. I... never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hanachan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dip. Wow, that's just rude. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Yosuke? Is that you? Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who's this guy? Huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? That's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. Hey, that's my name. You can't be the hero. I'm the hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! Uh oh. Not seen. <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Hmm. Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? Uh-oh. This isn't good.
I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. As you can see, Electric is weak against How wind. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending, attacks to your weakness and a status ailment attacks can be blocked. If you if it looks like the enemy is about to get loose while a devastating with a devastating attack or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. But be careful, for you will leave the defense stance after being hit once. Well, we get up. So let's guard. As you can see. And you know what? Let's guard again, just to see what happens. Power charge, so his attack increase, so let's guard. He attacks. And guard. And guard. It seems that he attacks three times. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Yep, defense. Now, let's use this medicine quick. We're getting a little bit low on health. As you can see, the attacks are a little bit stronger, so now would be the perfect time to Zeo, because Wind, which is what this monster used, is weak against Lightning. So we're gonna attack. Don't underestimate me! He is now guarding. It's guarding its weak point! Which we should now use to guard ourselves. Because now, that weakness did less damage. Thus, we can use Zeo again, knock him down, and we can use this to increase our defense for three turns. He attacks, but he misses. Skill, Zeo. Thus, we attack. Aim in the ass. He guards. Here comes an attack. So we guard. Huh? That's it. Boring. Get out of my sight. Oblivion does nothing. Defense reverted. So now, Leo. Rakakuj. Rock. Rakukaja to up our defense so we take less damage. Don't underestimate me! Power charge, so his attack gets up. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Or, you know, I could just Zeo and down it. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! Which at this point I should probably guard. Being That's that not gonna work! And see ya. After this, I'll use a soul drop, which increases my, uh, basically my skill points. Don't underestimate me. Here comes an attack. Defend yourself. Which we will guard. You're getting to be a real pain. All right, I'm gonna crush you with everything I got. Get out of my sight. Zeo. Item, soul drop. Get it up a little bit even more. Aim in the ass! What an eyesore! Power charge. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! We're gonna use Zeo. It's going to attack! And Defend now, yourself. we are going to cleave. To deal a large amount of work. damage to it. No just basic attack us and ow. But, we can now seal it. And, we defeated him. 
For that, we get 100 experience and 3,000 yen. No item, though. You felt a surge of energy inside after that recent battle. Amazing, we level up a third, a second time and have our SP and HP increase. And we can now create personas up to level 3. Something inside of you has changed as well. Now that we have a persona, Izanagi is able to level up. His mana increased by 1 and his energy increased by 1. His magic and his energy. Being that we defeated Yosuke's shadow, I... Yosuke wakes back up. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yosuke seems reluctant to accept it. Everyone, you're still yourself. Myself. Damn it. It hurts to face yourself. You sure does. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. As he accepts it, the strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. And thus his shadow becomes his persona. Yosuke has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The Persona, Jiraiya. This is my Persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. You're welcome, bro. Come on, let's go. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Agreed. Let's go home. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. It was the same for them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. 
Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke, they disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? That seems to be the case. We need to find the culprit. Or we won't know until we try. We need to find the culprit. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? Sure. If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? That is a good question, though. I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Of course. Really? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. The TV engineers. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Yes, Teddy. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Tap, tap. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! Well, through the TV we go... Oh shit, not again! Uh-oh, you're about to get hit. Ow! Ooh. Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! Aw, Chie. Oh, we know you don't. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe we did go a little too far. A little bit. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. Indeed. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Good to hear. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. See ya. And thus the reason why you should save in case you die at that point. Near the floodplains while walking home from Juness. Hmm? Oh look, it's you, Kiko. Oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um, are you 
getting used to your new town and school? I like it here. Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. True. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> We're getting along. She's a handful. I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. <laughs> oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> okay. After school to evening. Well, afternoon to evening. Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, Police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Aw, poor... <laughs> poor Nanako. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Yeah, of course. Nanako seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Yukiko is on TV wearing a kimono. In other kimono. words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow! You're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Uh, uh, no. Um. Again, creepy. The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. I'll come help you. You decide to help out with the housework. You can now check in your status by pressing the command menu button. As you can see, we can see that I have 94 HP at max and 57 HP at max, well, SP at max. As well as Izanagi uh, stats here. At level 3, he will gain a new ability, Rokunda. And then we also can see Yasuke's 92 and 63 and his and his uh persona the magician Jiraiya. Uh at level 6 he will he'll get Sukukaji or Sukukaja which I believe ups attack stat. So yeah. Let's save because we don't want to have to do that again. And I'm going to have to call this stream here. It has been amazing playing with you guys. Uh, been a long stream. Got about three hours. So, yeah. I want to thank you all so much for coming. Uh, we'll probably do this again sometime soon. Uh, might not be for a little bit because of Sunday's... Uh, mega stream. We're at uh, at my 9 p.m. CST. 
me and Opal are going to be hosting our an second anniversary stream where we're going to play her favorite game, uh, Bug Snacks. So I really, really would appreciate it as well as her uh, if you would really come and support us for that stream since it's going to be a real fun, it's going to be a real fun time. Uh, we're looking to see if we can get at least 10 people to watch. Hell, if we can get a lot of people to watch. So 9 p.m. CST on Sunday, we're going to be doing that. And I hope all of you can come and join us for that as well. So thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, it's been a pretty good time. And I hope to catch you guys all later. Talk to you later. Peace.